right hand on top of the head and Etienne goes directly to his knees. This is the fifth knockdown in just three rounds. Look from overhead you see right on the side of the head combination on top of the temple right there. It's just every time he gets hit there Stevie goes down and Bobby these are wide punches they seem to be telegraphed at the end just can't see them coming. ATN's defensive skills are limited and he started late and there's a lot of brushing up he needs to do. A work in progress Clifford ATN but now he comes out with a purpose. He came, out behind, he came out behind a triple jab and two shots to the body the most effective combination maybe he's had all night. Maybe ATN should go to some boxing technique here. He continues to swing wildly. No plan. You heard Don Turner in the corner saying you're, fight, you're fighting from too far outside. You're throwing punches leading from way too far outside. Work your way in first. And that's so kendo style to fight from the outside. Good right hand there to the temple by ATN. But they're wild and he's getting tired because he's missing. A, big, a big left hook by ATN. He's starting to score more now. Registering those hard Stop. punches on Okendo. We'll see what kind of conditioning and stamina Okendo has. Well, at this pace, both fighters throwing a lot of punches, missing a lot of punches. Okendo missing less, but moving more. We're going to see if attrition becomes a factor. Those left hooks by Etienne are starting to get in there more regularly. This with the right. ATN seems to have a, a second wind uh, all of a sudden after being knocked down on five occasions. And we're only in round four. ATN backing Okendo up, using the forearm. Yeah, there was a nice little forearm slash elbow. The left hook was blocked by Okendo's glove. When Etienne comes in, watch how low he puts his left hand as he leans to the right and leaves his whole left side of his head, jaw, ear, and top of his head wide open for that right hand from Okendo. the first round that Etienne's actually been effective winning this round so far but it's toward the end of every round you run of getting knocked down. Here's a big right hand by Etienne a straight right and it's got Okendo thinking got his attention. Right now this is just sheer guts and determination by Etienne he just refuses to stop. He's not allowing Okendo to think now 30 seconds in round four and Etienne on a rampage. Etienne himself is going to need to show some good condition to keep this pace up. He's missing some of these punches. Huge. Back comes Okendo with a straight right hand that scored. But a much better round for Etienne. And as I say that, he stumbles a bit off a right hand by Okendo. How are you feeling there? You can't open that mouth. Take a deep breath. That's it. Don't run. You got to walk. Walk side to side. You got to walk. Don't run. You're in great shape right now. The guy's throwing punches. Crazy punches. You're doing. Are you listening to me? Camina, no me corra. Walk, don't run. Come on, you got some points. Come on, impose your will on this guy. Close and combination. You follow what I'm saying? The hardest punch Okendo may have taken all night was from Felix Trinidad Sr. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Felix Trinidad Sr. is just trying to keep him calm. He saw that last round. Maybe the tide turned a little bit. The momentum surely moved. It's the first round that team has actually won. And Akendo's giving it up because he, every time he throws a right hand and he throws it well, he hurts at the end. Round five. This is a big right hand that hit the jaw of Okendo. Maybe the best punch of the night for ATN. And it's got Okendo just hanging on. You can hear Don Turner saying that Tim, you just outwill him. Use your will. Beat him with your will. Living up.
up to his nickname. Break. The Rhino just charging in relentlessly. And he does just keep coming, Steve. There's no quitting him. And, you know, again, if he's going to have a problem with a lot of big punches, a guy like Lennox Lewis will have a field day with the right hand that he has, the range that he has, the speed that he has, if the, if the Rhino's chin is really not that good. Pushing Okendo back with the jab, trying to drop him with the right. Okendo comes back with a slapping left that somehow sent ATN back. One thing's for sure, we have to re question ATN's chin. Box. Down five times in this fight. And on punches that didn't look particularly ferocious. Sometimes the punch doesn't need to be that devastating, but put in the right place. Accurate. There's a weak spot in Achilles' heel, so to speak. A few of them were to the top of ATN's head. Which, as Bobby has pointed out over and over, is a very vulnerable spot. We approach the final minute of round five. Hey, slowing down just a little bit. Okendo continues to box from the outside. They told him to walk, don't run. Well, he's close to running. <laughs> he is. A left-right combination to the head by Okendo. Okendo doing a nice job with the jab and some good movement. But he can't get trapped on the rope. That's where good he body the shots by Etienne. He wants to keep Etienne out in the center of the ring. That's where he's had most of his success. And Etienne has not made that many adjustments to the right hand. It's just sheer aggression. Again, that's a bad spot for Okendo on the ropes. A left-right combination of the head by Okendo. Etienne weathers it. Here's another beautiful right hand of the head by Okendo. Just before the bell to win round five. Bobby, let's go inside the ropes and further examine these knockdowns of Okendo against ATN. There's a right hand on top of the head, side of the head combination. Another one, same place, same position. One more on top of the left side of Etienne's head. That one also, top left side. It, it must be Achilles' heel because he's been hit with better punches. Those all put him on the floor. Later, he came back with a right hand of his own, not too bad, over the top that really shook up Okendo. Talk about give and take. Not to be outdone, Okendo comes back here and wobbles at the end one more time. Bobby, we're halfway through the bout unofficially. How do you see this? I see this as a trainer's nightmare. Yeah. I have it three rounds to two, but 48-43 with all the knockdowns in favor of Okendo. Hey. Okendo has registered five knockdowns. The last two rounds, though, Etienne outworked him, pressed him, outpunched him, and looked better, but I wouldn't go as far as to say really good. Well, we said at the outset, Etienne couldn't remember who knocked him down the first time. He'll remember Okendo. Got a pretty good feeling you're right about that. You push him down, he's going to hit you low. Don't push him down. Okendo being warned not to uh, push Etienne down by referee Jay Nady. And he said, he, if you don't push him down, he won't want his punches won't hit you low. Oh, the heads collide. Keep your head up. You keep your head up. Okay. ATN came charging in. Time. And they just both bent over and slammed into one another. No blood. I'm sure when ATN gets back to home base, wherever he calls home base, He's going to put this tape in and watch that he doesn't move in behind the jab and everything comes around nothing straight. And just a moment ago, as you were talking, a perfectly timed straight right hand by Okendo, just as ATN was cocking to throw a punch. Left hook is scoring by Okendo, as is the jab. Right hand again off the top of the head. Why not? It's been successful. Now, Okendo.